Today we're gonna to be checking out a newer flapjack light. YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name's Jason. Here on this channel, I do a lot of food and product reviews. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Like I said, today we're checking out a newer flapjack light. All right, so here is a look at this newer flapjack light and you can see how thin this thing actually is. And we're gonna take a look at how bright this gets and if this is the right light for you. You can see it is the newer LED bicolor studio round lighting. Ultra thin studio edge flapjack light, 21 inch 70 watt dimmable portrait light with battery holder, AC adapter. So, you know, put a battery on there if you're gonna be shooting somewhere where you don't have an outlet that you can plug into. Otherwise you can just plug this into the outlet, which I have one already up here on my side here that I'm using. And then I have a soft box over here. So the great thing about this light is it comes with a remote, as you can see, and you can have different programs on there for channels. And you know you can use the, the white coloring on it. Also, it has the warm yellow coloring. I usually only use the white coloring. I never use the, the soft yellow. I'm just not a big fan of that coloring for my lights. But you can use the remote. So I could sit here, you know, if I'm looking at my monitor, it doesn't look like it's bright enough, I can adjust the, the brightness of this light. And I will show you, as you can see right now, I have the light on 5%. It's bright. And we'll show you how much this goes up and why I decided to go with these flapjack lights. So again, uh, $181 for one light. So these aren't cheap. They're, they're fairly pricey, but I'll show you why I decided to go with it. You know, I have my studio set up here and go to the overhead shot here. I kind of have it pushed back here in the corner. And when I had a soft, I have two soft boxes. Well, I had two soft boxes set up. So I want my soft box right here. And you know, it's, well, this is like this thin, you know, my soft box, you know, is gonna be take up that much space. So I couldn't, if I had my soft box back over here, I had to pull my desk farther out and it was harder to get around behind it. Or this, I still am able to walk back there and get behind the light because it doesn't take up that much space. And with my soft boxes, and I'll show you which ones I have here. So this is what I've had. I've been using these for about three years now. Great lights, they're just not dimmable. You turn them on, on and off, and that's the only option you have with these. So you can't dim them, you can't adjust the, the, the color temperature on these or anything. But they're not bad priced. Look at that, $89 for two lights. So two lights for $89 or one light for $180. So it's a big price difference, but you know, if it's in your budget, you may want to look at these again, like I said, they don't take up much space and they're dimmable with a remote. So, and I'm going to show you a little more on this, this soft box over here, what I'm talking about, how much room it takes up. So as you can see, you know, it takes up some space, you know, it goes back a ways. It's with that light there, I can't walk behind it. Um, I can't get through on that side. I have to go over here. So that's why I got another one of these flapjack lights to put there. So I'm able to access my cameras from either side. They don't take up as much, much space and I'm able to control the temperature of that light and, you know, dim it and whatever I need to do with it. And another great feature with these, if you're going to travel, maybe you're going to not just shoot in a studio like this. Maybe you're going to, again, like I said, you can use a battery on these. If you're going to go on set somewhere, maybe you're going to film outside at night or whatever carrying case padded in there, you got foam in there. So it's a nice carrying case if you're going to shoot somewhere on location with these lights. These for me are just gonna sit right here in the studio. So let's get into how bright these get. Like I said, I have that at 5%, that's all I needed at. Now when I switch and turn this one off, which I will, and again, like I said, no remote for that. I have to use, See if I can get it in the camera here. It's probably not gonna reach. Just, just a little switch on the cord. So let's turn that light off, my soft box. Okay, so this is just the flap jack light right now at 5%. So let's start boosting this up. At 18% right now. Forty percent. Fifty 
70%. And it's getting a little bright in here. Let's just get it up to 100%. All right, there we go. 100%. As you can see, I would probably have to obviously adjust the ISO on my camera because it's so bright and my whole side of my face is blown out. But you can see, um, you don't need two of these lights. One of these will work perfectly fine if you want to shoot like this. I know a lot of YouTubers do this. They shoot with, you know, just the light on one side. Me doing food and product reviews, you know, I like the set lit up so you can see things a little better. So, but I would never ever have this at 100%. Let's drop it all the way back down. Obviously with one light, again, when I had my softbox on, I was filming with this at 5%, you know, just a little fill on this one side here. Obviously when I have probably both of these flapjack lights going on, probably 20% I'd be shooting at. I think this looks good right here. Let me turn this one back on over here. There we go. And I just keep this, you know, I put the little command strips on here, Velcroed and just, Stick it to my Visa arm here so it's always within reach. I can grab it, I can control the light, I can turn it on and off. Really nice having the remotes so I can just, I can look at my monitor, see if I need to adjust my lights any. Again, not a cheap light, $180, but it's not super bad. And it's great, I mean, it's small, it's compact. You can, let me put it here, you can adjust it on your stand. You can spin it however you want to control it. Now, the other thing with this light compared to that one, so $181 it is right now, you're just getting this light here. No stand and one light for that price. Where those newer lights, the soft boxes, it was, what was the price on those? $89. So for $89, you're getting two lights and you get the stands. So for me, I'm just taking those soft boxes off and still and using utilizing those stands and putting my flapjack lights on those stands. So just know that if you don't have any lights and you're gonna purchase these, you need to purchase stands along with them. So you gotta add that onto the price too. But if you're in the market for a light and your your space is limited, like you know, this room isn't very big, and that's why I'm moving away from these soft boxes. Nothing wrong with those. I filmed videos on this channel for about three years using those soft boxes. Great lights, but I need something that doesn't take up as much space and then I can adjust the brightness on my lights. Now, that's why I went with these newer flapjack lights. So if you have any questions about these lights, I'll be happy to answer them. Just leave it down in the comments below. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys next time.